In this video, I'll show you an easy trick to make amazing masks in Affinity Photo. Let's get started. If you'd like to follow along with me, I'll leave a download link to the photos that I'll be using in the video description. Masks are so useful for adding darkness, brightness, or new colors to different areas of your photos. Usually this is done by manually painting adjustments onto your photo, but sometimes you can make your adjustments look even more natural by using gradient masks. To show you how this works, let's start simple with this first photo. I want to draw more attention to the center of the photo by darkening up the sky. I want this to be very gradual, being darker at the top and then fading out. To do this, I'm going to first add a curves adjustment. And I'll make this curves adjustment nice and dark. Then we can use the gradient tool to create our first gradient mask. To do this, I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to click and drag downward toward the center. By default, the gradient tool starts white and then fades into black, which is perfect for our mask. Wherever the mask is white up here, this is where the darkness is visible. And where our mask is black down here, this is where it's invisible. So you can see as I adjust this, we can adjust how much of our picture becomes dark and where it becomes bright again. I'll just turn this off so you can see what this looked like before. And here's the after with our darker sky. We can add more than one gradient mask to a picture. So let's do this one more time, darkening this dock at the bottom so that the attention is brought toward the center. I'll add a curves adjustment, and again, I'll make it nice and dark. We already have the gradient tool out, so I'm just going to click and drag from the bottom up toward the center. So now you can see the difference here. Here's the before and after. Now this will be a little more subtle, but we can also use gradient masks to gradually add more color. To add color, I'm going to use the HSL adjustment. This picture doesn't have a lot of color in it, so I'm going to raise the saturation quite a bit. Then I'm going to start up here at the top of the mountains, and I'll drag this downward. What this is doing is it's adding color to the entire top of our picture and it's gradually fading it out. So you can see as I turn this off, here's the before and here's the after with a lot more color added to the mountains and the blue jacket. Before and after. And now that we're done with that, I'll just hold shift to select all of these layers so you can see the complete before and after with these very natural gradients. So now that you know the basics of gradient masks, I want to show you another example, this time using circular gradients. I think this wedding photo is lovely, but the lighting and colors are very even throughout the photo, making the couple blend into the background. But we can fix this with some strategic gradients. Let's go ahead and start by brightening our couple. I'll add a curves adjustment. And then I'll brighten it up. Then I'll grab the gradient tool. And I'll click right here at the center of our couple and drag outward. By default, the gradient tool does a linear gradient. So this whole part of the picture is brighter, and over here it's darker. I'm going to change this though in the context toolbar to make it radial. Now this gradient starts brighter in the center and gradually in a circular pattern becomes darker again. 
So I'll just show you. Here's the before and after, creating a little bit of a spotlight on our couple. I think this already makes the picture look so much better. Let's continue though by making the outside edges darker. To do this, I'll add another curves adjustment and I'll darken the curve. Now this might seem a little bit backwards, but I'm actually going to grab the gradient tool and I'm going to click and drag from the center again outward. Then I'll change it to a radial gradient. Right now, this part is dark and that darkness gradually disappears toward the outside. This is the opposite of what we want. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to switch our colors on the gradient. Now you can see that the darkness is on the edges and that darkness disappears as we go to the center toward our couple. I think this looks so nice. Here's the before and after. To finish this off, let's add one more gradient to give our couple more color. I'll add an HSL adjustment. And then I'll increase the saturation. I don't want the entire photo to get more saturation, or these greens will become distracting from our couple. So I'm going to use the gradient tool again to click and drag from our couple outward. Again, I'll change the type to radial. And now you can see this color is only illuminating on our subjects and it gradually fades out as you go away from them. Now I'll just hold shift to select all of these layers so that you can see the before and after of all of our changes with these gradient masks. I love using this masking trick to make seamless gradients in photos. I hope you like it too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.